the laser scanner um, has got a laser emitter and a receiver. It emits a, emits a laser beam and it re catches the reflection. Um, it's mounted on a carbon fibre arm. Each one of the joints has got an encoder in it so the arm knows exactly where it is in space. And for a computer at least, it's a, a simple bit of maths to work out where each part of the job is actually located. So when we start scanning, the sound tells me that we're in the correct, correct range to pick up the information. And when the sound stops, it means I've finished on that particular sweep. Um, you can see on the screen it refreshes and we get a good image reproduced. The beauty of this system for uh, historic artefacts is that it's completely non-invasive. So the laser beam is a simple LED laser. It's not doing any damage to the item at all. Once we've got that scan data, which is basically a mesh and a very difficult object to manipulate, we can then bring it into our specific design softwares that we use here at the JIIC. Once we've got that object in, we can start retracing the, the curves and the, all the, the fine details that we need to recreate on the object. So we're tracing curves and we're creating almost cutters that, that cut the pockets back into the object. So once we've got the CAD data finished and we've checked everything is as it should have been, again by referring back to the original object, we can then send that to a rapid prototyping machine which will print the object in a resin. That resin then gets moulded and then from the mould, using the lost wax casting process, we produce castings that will then start to get finished and worked on. I'd personally be working on the metal, the actual metal objects and the insertion of the colours and the finishes um, to, to have the final product. So I've been looking at the finishes of the gold, which I've been doing some sample work here and the actual colour of the gold, which is really important to get that correct with the colour of the stones and that we've got the garnets here as well. So this experimental work, these are nylon pieces that have been sprayed at the moment to allow us to do some experimental work. Even to the detail I'm working on at the moment is looking at some detail from the original that has had original mud obviously still left on it from the field, which we've been provided with and uh, allows me to replicate that in the piece.